Away. Hey. Know today's date? Hell, Eagle. Welcome to Saturday Senior Softball Roosters versus Tigers. Today, Saturday, September 14th. I'm home plate today, Mr. James Hare. Ivory's got the bags. I'll see you after the game. Jimmy Layton? Okay. Okay. Real. Our fans are here starting the wave today. Mr. Hey, Jimmy, Jimmy Layton. How are you, pal? I got one more to go, but uh, I'm not going to be doing it. You're going to be plastic. Yeah. Uh. Junior, Eddie, RV, G, D, Billy, first, 18, 30. All right, Frankie, let's go. Let's go. Monty, let's go. Better up. Play ball. Somebody got a ball over there. 
Introduction to today's Please <laughs> okay. state your name and James Hare. Uh, 21 years experience playing the plate. We have a very experienced uh, umpire today. We do not expect to have any rhubarbs whatsoever. And besides, James can lift 280 pounds and nobody will ever dare mess with this man. <laughs> I promise you that. So right now we're playing the bottom of the first inning. Roosters have managed three runs. Let's see what happens. All right. Maybe twice in this game. Make sure you got your cup jack ready. Quickie! Uh, we got two guys out there. So we're trying to 
Thanks to a great catch by Harvey in uh, left center, uh, the Brewster uh, lead is held and it's now three to nothing. We're playing the second inning. For a week, I'm out. What? We want to fight on next week. So it all worked out. Watch 
Russia. Throw's coming. Thank you. 
Uh, there was a close to play at third, okay, and James Hare stepped in immediately, took control of the game, called the runner out, and I want to just compliment him on some really good, excellent umpire. Well, thank you. I, not having a second uh, out, I mean, uh, umpire, if you see that backside is difficult, so yeah, thank you. You have some honorable players here who uh, actually tell us the truth. That tag was behind on the back shoulder. Uh, All right, see, he got the honest system worked. So thank you, James. He did a great job on that one. And now the Roosters were, uh, they pushed two runs across. So now we're 5 nothing, and we're playing the bottom of the second inning. Okay, good. James, how are you, sir? Introduce the uh, rooster pitcher. Okay, uh, Ed Nassen. He'll tell you a little bit about you know, the way he maintains control, and he got a zero Tigers. All right. Pitching a shutout right now. It's all because of Ron Penn. Well, with Ed's this great league. Well, thank you, Ed. He's doing a great job, and he understands how to approach the pitching. Move the ball and, around. That's all. Move it around. And this man can even hit. Going into the third inning, it's five nothing Roosters. Thank you, Ed. Yeah, 
something special. We'll bring you in. Whatever hey, you do, Harvey, don't show up. If you had to use Gorilla Glue, they wouldn't have come out. Yeah. <laughs> Hold that. Yeah, shoe glue. Hey. I got to give him new shoes. I just gave him two pairs. I was like, yeah. yeah. Let's go, ball dead. James, just a future reference, I'm a size nine. What's that? I'm a size nine. Okay, you got it, brother. Little speed, big, big heart. That's the way it runs. All right, here we go. Play. That was a nice hit. All right, let's go. Thank you. 
Roosters have got their hitting shoes on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They scored another five runs. Ten innings, though, don't forget. We now have ten. And Tigers are yet to score. And don't forget, Nassan is pitching his heart out. And we've got a shutout going into the third. Well, I wasn't sure I could my way around the base. Oh, just I heard it. Where'd he go, Ronnie? I'm so 
glove. Put that glove down. You can't get So not looking good for the Tigers. They now have gone three straight scoreless innings. Okay, Nassan keeps the pressure on him. He's changing speeds and he's got right side movement and left side ball movement. And the Tigers are having all kinds of problems with it. At this point, we're in the top of the fourth. It's 10 nothing Roosters.
Okay. There's a little information about that inning. <laughs> JP blooped the single to right, and that uh, enabled Ron first to scamper home. Uh, I hate you know, scampers who work for Ron. And now the score is 11 uh, 0, and we're playing in the bottom of the fourth. I didn't say, I did.
my curve back. Fight. Some uh, offensive uh, success, the Tigers have uh, squeezed out two runs in the bottom of the fourth. We're moving to the fifth inning, 11 to 2 Roosters. Well, I'm keeping the official scoreboard. I got one. That's three. 
one early and then they got one later. Yeah, we had Stop your whining. Two runs. Second run. Second got across the plate. Houston scored. The guys put a job. What's the name scored? Takes me a little bit of time to bend over there. One more run headed by the Roosters makes it to 12 2. We're playing the bottom of the fifth inning. And uh, if the Tigers can get their hitting in gear, this could be a great game.
Tigers were held to two runs only for one reason, okay? By the virtue of a spectacular double play engineered by this fellow over here, JP. JP saw the play in front of JP! him, developed in front of him, stepped on first base, he fired to home, 
double play, score 12 forward now in the sixth inning. Right, JP? Get it. All right, here we go. Stand where I want. Oh. I got it.
Heads up, senior. ball to the right side of the second field I've hit since I've been in Florida. <laughs> really? That was a great hit. No, did you see me move to it? Yeah. That's what the, the tee ball does for me. Because when I move, I'm looking at that ball again. So when yeah. it came, and it actually curved that way, didn't it? I didn't hit it too hard. We just captured another uh, couple of runs here. Uh, oh, the I'm sorry. Kevin was responsible, hit this line drive to right field. Uh, tell us about the pitching hit there, Kevin. Uh, it was mid-chest, a little outside. So it had a nice line drive. It curved off to the right on the right side of the second baseman. How come you hit it to right field? They usually pull it. Because all the players are playing on the left side of the field, so I decided to go on the right side of the field. Well, folks, if he's going to start that, there's no way we can beat him. So uh, nice going, though. Get out Thank of here. Thank you. <laughs> 16 to 4, playing the bottom of the sixth.
around, Nick. What? My stigmatism, my seven feet. Put your glasses on. You and you said it was fair. The guy whose eyesight's worse than mine. Exactly. I trust his vision. Me to too. Anybody that plays like that. It doesn't seem like the Tigers uh, can find their mojo. After several hits last inning, they still had nothing to show for it. So as we move to the seventh inning, Roosters are ahead 16 to four. Four runs is not a good uh, offensive output for the Tigers. So uh, I have a feeling this game's not over, that they've got a lot of fight and kick left in them, but we'll see how it goes. <laughs> the losing team, yeah.
Bring it, Carmine, bring it. I decided it was snack time, have a drink. <laughs> and then I get informed of this stuff. I'm like, oh, that, that might be illegal. The umpires we have these days. Ash, what are you trying to play? Hey, go. I, I think he'll allow it. I think he'll allow it. Need more guys. Six more out here. Mike, over. Let's go. I'll rush my snack. I know for this. But, hey, John, hey, you want to play Mike. catcher? You want to play Mike. catcher? Mike, you want to play catcher? I'll go play Rover. I'm lost out there. This could be a sign of things are changing. The uh, Tigers just turned a double play on the infield, and uh, it seems that it's spurring them on. So they're coming up to bat now, and let's let's see if it if it's going to give them a boost. But uh, we're still 16 to four. We're in the bottom of the seventh.
probably be like frustrated about that. And you're paying all that money. You're but traveling. I, and you don't play the same guys every weekend. We're not going to do it. Uh, it's not like it. Broken nose, teeth. That was high for cover, man. Yeah. That hard still beating. That's why he's going to throw that ring. Five people standing there, and we all got crushed. One second while I uh, searched my testes, they just sucked up inside when I saw that. doesn't look to be like a tiger day. As sure as day follows night, the roosters turned the tables on the tiger and they made an inning, inning, ending double play to get out of the seventh inning. We're now in the eighth inning and uh, roosters lead by the incredible score of 16 to four, despite, despite the tigers having a huge, heavy-handed batting win. But the game's not over and we're gonna go 10 today and we'll see what happens.
Nice shot. Right. Nice shot. I love that shot. Guess what happened? The uh, Tigers turned a double play on the Roosters. So now the Tigers are coming up to bat. Let's let's see if they can turn that defense into good offense. 16 to 4, bottom of the inning. Say. 
Yes, Cuban nickname is Yes Double. He got a base hit, it was a, a double. This man is 147 years old. He plays great, okay? Está bien? Muy bueno. Muy bien. Muchas gracias. Thank you. I tell everybody, you want to be wrong. You can tell Monty's a pitcher, not a catcher.
up 12. Frank, bad lefty. Hey, you got Waldo out there, you should. <laughs> Where is he? <laughs> I find him. <laughs> I bet he does. I bet he does. <laughs> by Nikki, uh, the rooster, the rooster hit into a tailor-made double play. The second baseman actually had the ball before the rooster could get out of the box. And uh, no runs, and we're now playing into the bottom of the ninth inning. It's still 16 to four, and it's, it's just a mystery how the Tigers haven't started to put their mojo together. But like I said, not over till the fat lady sings. Don't be in there. I'm going to go buy it for him. Barbie, he just wants to talk to the camera. I thought I got to see him. That's it, Bobby. That's it. 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 That
Tiger Paul seems to be getting a little bit deeper. Same score, 16 to 4. Moving into the bonus inning, we're playing the top of the tenth inning. Play ten once. <laughs> and this is it. Well, I, I said, 
cares that the uh, Tigers have finally figured out how to stop the Roosters. Okay, the insertion of uh, John Houston on the mound. He took over the pitching duties and he got the Roosters out one, two, three. We're going into the bottom of the last inning. It's still 16 to four. Here we go. the side. No. Well, I said, can I go on the backfield? She said, no. So I was kind of hot. I know. They, they've never approached us ever, ever. And it was just me and a bucket of balls. The field was brand, like just done, brand new. This one over here, I think. So I was going to, like I said, go to the backfield. I've been there 20 times this year. You need to go to the eye doctors, okay? Heads up, Alan. Both down. That's a ball game. It's a new bat. Wow, it's your first day. <laughs> Wait, how many ounces ball did Otto get? All right, Alvarez, how do you want to go out? Kevin, you need to get your break. He's still popping up now. Hey, it's a pickup game. Yeah, you be out there? You gave up this game in the third inning. Come on, Greg. You would have been. Foul ball. Oh, yeah. Come on. Come on. Come to the second one. It's 15 to 4. It's a good old man. I tell you right now, I'm hitting it right over the fucking fence. Are those bags like 70? Are you want to give me the $5 now or should we wait to hit it out? Is it 65? I think you did. It seems. Well, I do have a final score to report. It seemed like the Tigers, uh, I think I wrapped up in their own tails today. Uh, they actually did really nothing, even though that team was stacked. In Houston, they had Alvarez, they had Johnny, they had Wallace. They had big time hitters. But the uh, Roosters, they outslicked them. Yeah, I know. And uh, final score, Roosters 16, Tigers 4. Yeah, 
Kevin. 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 Saturday senior softball. Rooster 16. Tigers 4. Bottom of 10. We'll see you next week. Hit that like and subscribe. Send it to your friends. Peace. I'm sorry, I got your stuff. Peace.